Hi, it's Linda from the Bubble and Sweet blog and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these sweet blossoms. Okay, so to make them you need some cornflour or cornstarch, fondant in a couple of different colours. I've got teal and plain white and I coloured that using Americolor teal. You need these embosser presses that fit together like this and I have on the blog and down below where I got them from. A blossom cutter, a small rolling pin, a um, paintbrush and some water and just one of these paint palettes so that you can shape the flowers in. Okay, so to start off with, just make sure you have need your um, fondant so that's nice and pliable. Put down some cornstarch. Roll out the fondant, pretty thin but not too thin because otherwise your embossers will push through. Okay, so I've got it about this thin. Press out your shape. These ones sometimes get a little bit stuck, so just use the um, paintbrush to gently pop it out because it's got a hole in the middle. Okay, now you get your embosses and just gently press them together. Now you don't want to do it too hard or they break through. So I'm just gently pressing it in. And you can see now that it's got the cool little shape that looks like the veins on it. Okay, so just gently pull it out. You can um, dust it with, with a bit of cornstarch or corn flour before you start, which makes it easier to get it out. And I'm just going to stick it in here now. So that helps it when it dries, it's going to dry in a little cup shape. Okay, just pop some water into the center, just a little dab, not too much or it'll get really sticky. And then just get the white fondant and roll up teensy little balls. and pop them into the middle. I usually put three, but you know, you can do whatever you like. Okay, and that's cute little embossed flower. Thanks very much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'll be making something with these flowers soon.